I was thinking of the concept of money earlier, and money is just energy, okay? It comes through in tangible dollars and bills because that's what we've decided as a collective to do as our trade system, but money in itself is energy. And when we are in lack, that is a distortion of separateness, and I want you to think of like money as energy points, if you will. And then back up cosmically, like even close your eyes and think how much energy is in the universe like it is infinite like including the galaxies and the planets and the stars and the animals and the trees and, and rocks and water like everything it's all made out of the same stuff okay us <laughs> like there is an infinite amount of energy available to you but it's all the paradigms and the stories and the narratives and weaponizing of, of money and all these things that make us think that it's a finite resource but when you look at it on that bigger scale of like, of course there's enough, like it's just energy and like, oh my God, how much is out there? And sometimes we, those distortions make us think like, oh, well, there's all these like evil people that are doing things with money. And like, that's true. But what you can do is you can ask to receive some of that negative energy so that you can alchemize it and transmute it and use it for good. Like call that to you and say, you know what? <laughs> I could make better usage of this. <laughs> okay? And at the same time, not only are you calling more energy or money to you, but you are reallocating and recirculating money that's not being used in the best capacity <laughs> and then using it for great things in your life or with other people.